Hello, Chief. This is Alexander Al again, and today is kind of repair day because I have on the bench this little plug which can be used to command some devices from uh, uh, internet with uh, an application, dedicated application. This uh, device work with uh, uh, Wi-Fi, and um, uh, they are they are not mine actually. This is um, com coming from a colleague, and. Uh, It has an issue with that. All those plugs are failed because there is a common problem with them. So, because I wanted to investigate more, he sent me a good plug. Those are work working in a good condition because I think they are not failed again. And this one, which is pretty dismounted. Is, uh, is is a fail uh, is uh, dead but we are going to see because I make some investigation already on it and of course you can see those wire which helps me uh, to uh, to understand what can be wrong with that device so uh, those devices are working and I'm going to show you uh, with uh, this um, device uh, which is a uh, uh, exactly like the main but more protected so if i connect this device there is an inrush current uh, which is not very important because those plugs need a very low power to on standby mode and if you can see i, I put my glove because it helped me to not be electrified uh, with that kind of uh, manipulation because i absolutely hate to be shocked by Uh, the main is very um, uncomfortable. So, if I connect this, you can see a very quick flash on this device, and uh, it's not working for the moment. But if I plug some device like this, which is a current monitor, actually, okay, you can see it works, and you can command the plug. Uh, locally with this you can command the, the lamp locally with this button which because you don't al uh, always need a uh, command from internet and the, the uh, dedicated application so you can command this of course in this case I will put this like uh, like this okay it's, it works okay this one works and it's uh, used a very low current which is not sensitive Uh, to this uh, caliber because this uh, short circuit caliber is very sensitive and you can see it works nice this one is also in good condition because mainly uh, I, I think the image of this device is not very important and uh, the owner of this uh, plug have written has written uh, OK which is uh, indicated that this device is working so If you put it like this, you can see there is no important uh, current r uh, in rush. So I put this plug again to to try it, and you can see. Okay, the the current consumption of this lamp is uh, enough to switch on the the alarm of a short circuit. In this case, you just need to but another, another caliber. But this one is more, it's a lot sensitive with this lamp, but when the device working only itself is not making the alarm uh, switch on. So, and uh, this one has, okay, I will just switch off this. Scan. Okay, now this is the, the bad product. This product is actually Uh, not working uh, as it is so um, of course this is uh, not an, a real time video because I have already worked on this device and I put it like that just to show you how uh, components can uh, make some bad uh, bad results because uh, this is maybe a bad component or it can be badly chosen and uh, so If I connect this to the main, okay, like this, we are waiting from the device that it will work nicely. But in case this is not, look what happened. 
this is a shot, a frank shot, not a frank shot, sorry, but this is a shot, whereas the other brand, the other plug didn't make this so short circuit. So this one is making a short circuit and be because it's making the short circuit, it's not able to provide enough voltage and current on the secondary of this little high frequency transformer and it's not able to turn on the device. How I, c I can say that? Because when you inject a voltage directly on the secondary, you, you are able to make it working. Like this, I'm, I'm injecting 5 volt because this device is working uh, with a very low voltage. You can see the LED are very weak when connected because the, uh, this LED are made to make a connection with the internet, not to pr to show the connecting with the main. So if I if I put the main, okay, there is a short, but if I oh la, oh la, it's it's uh, there is uh, there is something going very hot here. I'm just going to test it very quickly. Okay. This one works with external power supply, okay? But there is a shot actually. This is a shot, okay? The shot is not good here because when this component is is going very hot it's not able to provide enough current to make something good here. So if you look at this PCB, you can see a double-sided PCB and uh, and you can see here a PTC, okay, with a capacitor and uh, uh, something like uh, X and Y capacitor with some uh, uh, other capacitor for filtering a rectifier uh, also a little inductor which behave like a resistor also sometimes you can find this component failed also so you, this is a, a very simple uh, power supply and uh, it has a dedicated integrated circuit which is here but unfortunately when I was investigating I dis disoldered this little cap integrated circuit and uh, when I found the problem, I wanted to solder uh, it uh, newly on the PCB, but I forget, uh, completely forget that the capacitor was uh, fully charged and of course, because the connection was not right the first time, it make a spark and this integrated circuit was dead and uh, it was, it is, I'm going to try to show you, a S Z D F B. I never see a name like that. It's impossible to find it on the net. Uh, all those connectors are connected uh, together, and the other connector are the source or the drain of the internal uh, um, MOSFETs, and uh, there is a gate and other stuff commanded by uh, some uh, retroaction coming from uh, the transformer. So it's very common to find integrate the circuit on very uh, low power up, uh, supply like uh, this uh, charger, but those uh, integrated circuit are, are absolutely not the same. So it's impossible for the moment. I, I tried, but I didn't find anything corresponding to the name of this uh, integrated circuit. Just for the moment, I want to show you what is the common problem with this plug. And uh, to see it, because I'm a little bit lazy today, I'm I'm little cheating a little bit and uh, trying to find where are the short circuits with the infrared camera. Of course, what what I did first is to remove. I removed this integrated circuit because it's if I this integrated circuit fail, you can have a short on the primary. But this one is not a frank short. This is um, 
uh, approximative shot. This is like uh, a component is behaving not normally. So you have here the PTC which coming uh, comes uh, very hot because this device is intended to give uh, slight current and and uh, little by little it gives the current ne necessary, uh, uh, the used current to make this uh, device working. But those capacitor is for filtering and also this one. So something is going very hot here. Switch on the device. Okay, this is a frank shot actually. And let's see the components. You can see here some component getting very hot, okay? And this component is this one, okay? We are not surprised that this device is getting very hot because this is the PTC, this is the role of the PTC. But this one is a capacitor. How it's possible that a capacitor like that, which is used like for filtering, the main is cook, is getting hot like that. So let's dismount it and control it, okay? This device is still hot, okay? And if you like the rating on it, it looks like a capacitor, but a bad capacitor. This device see a two kilo capacitor, okay? <clears throat> now let's see if the device is still on short. Okay, let's connect the device and okay, the shot has gone. Okay, no shot anymore because this faulty component, this faulty component is a capacitor which is made to filter the mains. The fact is that the owner of those kind of device use a narrator at home and it's connected to the solar panel which will charge batteries and use the main with an inverter. So inverters are able to make a lot of noise on the line. This is maybe the reason why this capacitor has suffered a lot. And of course, to make a full test, we are going to look with a height voltage insulator, how it reacts in a height voltage. Okay, I'm just going to test it on 500 volts. Now I'm going to inject 500 volts on it. Normally it's able to withstand uh, a voltage like this one. And absolutely not. It's a short circuit. The, the, um, the faulty component was this capacitor and maybe because there is a lot of noise on the line because the owner of this device use an inverter. Maybe this is the reason, but, but we are not sure. Okay. Usually this kind of uh, capacitors, uh, the color of those capacitors are for X and Y uh, filtering, like this one, which is a special uh, X and Y capacitor of very high um, voltage value, but very low capacitor value. And this capacitor is working like um, for filtering, but also uh, if you see, if you take a look on the PCB, look what you can see. Look here. Do you see this sign? This is a sign of MOV. Metal oxide varistor. And this sign is a way to protect the PCB against surge of height current or height voltage on the PCB. And this component fail and becomes always conductive. MOV are sometimes like this and you can see rated on this component the maximum voltage of the uh, short circuiting effects of the MOV. Whereas this one is like ZNY capacitors and uh, it's uh, play like an MOV actually because the color is not the truth. You can see here then the XN 
ZNY capacitor is easily able to withstand very high voltage like you can see here. So if you have a device like that, what non working because uh, an issue coming from the power store, just remove it. Of course, you will lose the over voltage protection, but anyway, uh, to have not a bad MOV is better uh, than to have a faulty MOV. So, okay. Now this device is working. Of course, we need an external power supply of 5 volt because I made a mistake when uh, when uh, debugging this stuff. Okay, I'm going. You can see the LED flashing. You can see the LED are flashing like that, but the they are very weak flashing. Okay, now let's connect the main. Let's put a charge on it and see. Ah, sorry. Okay. Okay. And let's look. Okay, this device is uh, working, and if you make uh, a jumelage by switching the button more than 10 seconds, okay, now the device is in jumelage, okay, because a faulty component which is MOV, little. MOV and uh, of course to found it I cheated a little bit because I use a thermal camera so it was Alexander again for this uh, repair day uh, I have a lot of plug like that to repair now it's very easy to do because I know where is the problem and of course uh, be aware to not make the same mistake as me because uh, I made a mistake in the integrated circuit. It was very, it's very hard to find on the market. Uh, so when you disconnected uh, integrated circuit like that, be sure to to uh, discharge the main capacitor before connecting a new one, the newly the the old uh, IC. Okay, it was Alexander again. I hope you like this video. And until you, see you soon.